Lawn fans, are you ready? I ain't gonna lie, I'm tired of shit. So, got out here today, did the scalp. I thought I was gonna be smarter than all y'all and tell y'all that I had a better way to do things. Had my guy that normally comes over here, scalps my yard and dethatches it at the beginning of the season. He came over here with his riding lawn mower. He dethatched it. In fact, matter of fact, he complimented me. He said, hey man, normally I have to make four trips on your yard to get it, or six trips, I'm sorry, six trips to get it dethatched. Today was four. He said, and I noticed your soil was different. Are you doing something different to your soil? And I told him, yep, I've been using Green County Fertilizer products, Next products, Air 8, um, RGS, Dethatch, Humic 12, and um, what's the uh, multi one? I'm tired. So, uh, green, whatever it is. So he said he could definitely tell the difference. He did my next door neighbor's yard right here, and he had to do six passes on it and said it's one of the worst he'd seen with the amount of thatch he had on it. So that's the good stuff. I want you to look at me. I was looking good this morning. I was out here doing my video. You'll see I was all fresh, not sweating, had my long collagy hat on. Man, I was looking good. So after my guy left, I thought, I'm gonna get the real mower out here, my McLean. I'm gonna get my real mower out here. I'm gonna clean it up just a little bit and it's gonna look good. That's when I realized that today was gonna be a long day. Because when you scalp with a rotary mower, it is completely different than when you scalp with a real mower. So, as I got out here and I cranked my McLean up and I started the first pass, I thought, hmm, damn, that cuts pretty low. And I came back and I thought, hmm, that's a whole lot lower than my rotary mower, my good old Toro Recycler 22 inch. So then I thought, you know what? I'll take this up a couple notches and that'll make it easier. Nope, it didn't. There's a reason why all these awesome real mower guys out there do not show the process of going from a rotary mower to a real mower in videos. It's because it's damn work. So I did it. And I had to go back and suck up clippings with the good old Toro Recycler many o times. And you know what? I don't even know if this is still short enough, but it's short. Short enough for me. And there's still a lot of grass clippings in here. And you dang well sure that I'm gonna be spraying some dethatch out here and watering it in. But I am down to real cut mowing height. And let me show you something. There's a couple of people today. I hurt their feelings. And I need to apologize to them. The first one is the old McLean here. McLean, I'm gonna tell you that I am sorry for what I put you through today. But you're gonna get a bath and you're gonna feel better here shortly. I really owe an apology to the old Toro. Toro, you're a good guy. Man, I put you through it today. You're going to get a good bath, and tomorrow I'm going to detail you and make you feel all good, give you a massage. You're not going to get it today, but you're going to get it tomorrow. So, if you plan on doing this, going from a rotary to reel, you would better drop that rotary down on the lowest setting and you better be prepared to sharpen your blade uh, when you're done on the rotary and on the real mower. I had just had this real mower ground and uh, I'm gonna have to back lap it now. First cut I'm gonna have to back lap after. But if you think you're gonna get out here with a manual real mower and do this. <laughs> no. You better have a power real mower 
when you get ready to do your first real mower cut to get it down low. Now if you want to keep it at an inch, half, two inches, you can go out here and you can sweat through it and get it done, but you're not going any lower than that. Not in my opinion, not on my thick yard. So I put my time in today. I am dirty. I'm nasty. Um, I got a couple parts of a video on Mike showing this one. Uh, some pictures of the guy when he was out here and he was um, scalping this with his right on rotary mower. I might, but I do know that I'm going to the convenience store and I'm picking me up a six pack and I'm putting about three of those in the freezer and I'm going to enjoy one outside of the freezer and then the other two will be after I clean up stuff tomorrow. I don't even know if that math's right. But this is Bermuda Brian. Thanks for staying tuned. And I am out of here. Okay, grass fans, are you ready? So today is dethatching and scalping day. And so I've got my guy out here doing the dethatching. You can see everything he's pulling up here. He's doing a great job. Look at all that. He's over there on the what's going to be the putting green side right now. And you may ask why I'm not doing this myself because I don't want that kind of beating on my machines. Um, I'll let him do it, pay him 35 bucks to dethatch and to scalp it down. He'll haul off everything and it'll be done. So that's a pretty good deal. He's just starting over in this area, but if you look over in here, you can see everything that's come up. There it is right there. So that's where we're at right now. He will be coming through and scalping this down to almost dirt here in just a little while. And here's some of the stuff that he's pulling up right there. Okay, lawn fans, so the scalp is done out there. And the guy that does my scalping and dethatching, um, when he got done, he came up to me and said, man, are you doing some kind of soil conditioner on your yard? And I said, well, why's that? He said, because normally, it takes me six trips, not six bags, six trips. He's got two bags on his riding lawnmower. It takes him six to, fill, to get my yard done. Today it only took four. And he said, I can tell you're doing something with your yard. So, as far as soil conditioning goes, I'm gonna count Milo as one. I'm gonna count the next products by Green County Fertilizer. That's Dethatch, Air 8, RGS, um, Humic 12, and what am I forgetting? Uh, microgreen. Using those to get my soil good. So obviously they're working. Um, that and, I mean, I cut the yard a lot last year. Every other day probably I was out here trying to keep it cut low. So there's the proof in the pudding straight from my yard guy. He didn't even know. So for me to Brian out.